Lake, Prince Glitzen State Park. It's like a frozen tundra. It's February 17th, about 19 degrees. I'm at the bee yard, obviously. <laughs> and uh, it's cold, that's for sure. We're having like one of those good old fashioned Pennsylvania winters. Most of our temperatures are like below freezing. Well, it's February 24th. Things have warmed up a little bit. It's 46 degrees out. It's about 3.30, quarter till four. Um, I gotta go in and do a hive check to see which ones made it and which ones didn't. And I'm going to do some pollen patties. I'm about three weeks late on that because of the weather. And I also brought along some, a couple capped frames of honey just in case my bees need it. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. I'm not seeing any activity in this one at all. <laughs> They're in there though. They're on, on, in here. I can hear them gnawing on my inner cover. I think I better put a... I don't want to have to smoke these things, dang it. That's what I didn't want to have to do. Ah, jeez. I don't want to have to light a smoker. I think I better put a veil on, though. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? <laughs> They're really going at it on this inner cover. I might have to put a veil on and light up the smoker. Hold on. Be right back. It's kind of an odd thing being suited up when you still have snow on the ground. But it is warm today and the bees are active. There you go. See that? The reason they're on there, it's so warm. That's where they want to be. All that warmth. Big mass of bees on there. About the entire colony? No, that's a big colony. There's, there's a lot of bees in there. I'm gonna tap these bees down. There. There you go. Got them tapped down. Oh, I'm gonna smoke them now. Get down there, bees. Everybody down there. They're on that phone on now. Is this hive? There's some still some weight to it. They still have some honey, not not a lot. So I'm gonna give these bees a frame of honey. I think they need it. This is actually sugar that they capped last fall and I, I stole a couple frames mm -hmm. just for this time of year. So, I mean, the hive, like it's not super light, but I'm not seeing any honey in there. So since I'm in, in here, I might as well give them, give them some. See what these patties look like, they're just so dry looking. I don't know if they're supposed to be like that or not. These are the ones from Hilco. The ones with Apis Biologics. We'll see how they work. I wanted to do this three weeks ago and I couldn't because it was just too cold. Oops, nice going. Nice going. Now they got some pollen patties. These are the insulated inner covers I made, and they're ni it's nice and dry in there. Very nice. No moisture issues at all.
Sounds like I got the same thing going on here. I, I can hear bees down there. They're making a lot of noise. Give them a little smoke, let them know I'm coming. There they come. All right, let me take this off. Take this top off and see what's happening. Same thing. Nice and dry in there. Nice and dry. Get these bees down there. Do I need to give these bees any honey? That's the thing. You need anything, bees. They still got some fondant in there. I tried Hive Live fondant this year. That's what this is. First time I ever tried it. Of course, they went after it. I knew they would. But they also went after my homemade fondant. I just pulled this frame out. I had to shut the camera off. Well, I got this frame out, but I pulled it out. It, this frame has it has honey. There's a lot of honey in here, so I don't need to feed them anything. I am going to, however, give them some pollen patties, though. Everybody down there. pollen patty for you you guys will like this don't sting me now I'm trying to help you out just trying to help you out that's all good way to get stung Okay, looking good. Save a bee. Come on, little girl. You go in the front. Okay, I'm not gonna make you sit through all these hives, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually gonna just check this one. I'm gonna let you watch me check this one. This was my uh, my single that I overwintered, and I was really worried about this one because we had some some very cold weather this year, brutal winter. I don't hear anything. They're in there though. They were flying around today. Give them some smoke. Yeah. See that? Got for honey. Please get down there. I want you all down there. They, they still got the phone on.
and they still have honey. Awesome. There's honey here. Honey there. That looks like honey. Let's take a peek without disturbing the bees too much. Can I get this open? Can I get this out, I mean. Pulled that frame apart. Not good. But there's honey there. Alright. That's empty. Yeah, they're pretty close to being empty, so these guys here, these girls are gonna get they're gonna get some honey. See what I did in the fall was I had the bees draw up these this uh, plastic foundation for me, and then they filled it with syrup, capped it, and now I get to use it to feed my bees. I'm gonna get another one. Okay. Plus they got that hive alive fondant in theirs. So now I'm gonna give them some pollen pad. Good. Well, here's a dead out. Plenty of honey in here so they didn't starve. Of course, I don't know what's down in the bottom box, but it's too cold to get into it. Now I gotta wrap things up, but. Um, so I got honey in here I can distribute to the other hives if I need to. All right, kind of a bummer, but that's my first dead out. I'm gonna have at least one. I'm expecting that probably have two more at least. Okay, it's getting cold. And probably it is getting too cold to be popping these tops off, so I'm gonna have to quit. And that, plus, I gotta still put them all back together. I'm gonna just do one more because this is a single, and I need to make sure that it's got enough stores in it. I know there's bees in it. Let's see. See what do they got in there? What do they got in there for stores? This is my Hive Alive fondant. They went right after that. I can see they still got honey in there. Looks like they got plenty of honey in there. I'm gonna give them some pollen patty.
Well, that's three dead outs out of 15 hives. I can't complain about that because the three dead outs actually were, were, were colonies that were a little bit on a weak side anyway. And um, most of my colonies, like, they're looking pretty strong. Uh, there's one or two that, like, they're, you know, they're kind of, like, probably on the fringe of of maybe uh, not making it. But I think they're going to be okay. They're all fed up. they got pollen patties. Um, it's They're nice and dry. The weather's starting to break. We've got a little bit of cold weather ahead, but, um, you know, we're going to have some nice temperatures in the 40s and the 50s over the next week or so so you know obviously like things are going to start changing pretty quick and uh my big thing now is just like keep, keeping the varroa mites down and do, starting doing my treatments again because i missed that this winter i didn't get to do them so i'm going to start that probably this weekend i'm going to do some and uh with all the talk about like colony collapse disorder coming around again and people losing all their bees i can't complain about losing three hives so anyway it's late, it's six o'clock, it's getting dark, and uh, I gotta get up at 4 a.m. I gotta put these hives back together and put my insulation back in place, which I could probably actually remove all the insulation now if I wanted to. But anyway, um, I'm Darren, I'm the Pennsylvania Beekeeper, and I will see you next time.